<laughs> Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to talk about The Division 2. It is looter shooter season, and with Anthem already out, all eyes are now anticipating the release of The Division 2. So many conversations about Division 2 were about its monetization, since up to this point, most of it was unknown. Ubisoft has posted a detailed roadmap of the first year's content, including their monetization plans. Year 1 will bring three new episodes, which will expand the existing story. All of these will be free of charge. On top of that, The Division 2 will also be getting three new specializations, which are essentially special weapons. On top of these three episodes, Division 2 will regularly be updated with quality of life improvements, bug fixes, new events, loot, and cosmetics. So with all this content, Division 2 is offering a Year 1 Pass. The Year 1 Pass will offer 7 day early access to the 3 episodes narrative content, 8 classified assignments which will include exclusive cosmetic rewards, instant unlocks of new specializations as they release, additional bounties and projects, and finally an agent ward outfit and scout emote. The Year 1 Pass comes in either Gold or Ultimate Editions. The Gold Edition is $99, while the Ultimate Edition is $120. Division 2's post-launch monetization plans will include an apparel store, which will allow players to directly purchase cosmetics with real money. Shortly after launch, Division 2 will release apparel caches, which will essentially be, you guessed it, loot boxes. These caches will offer cosmetics only and no weapons or crafting materials. So what are my thoughts on this? Number one, the year one pass seems pretty weak from my perspective. I don't see any value from having a seven day early access on story elements. The valuable items are the additional bounties and projects along with the instant unlock of new specializations which will save some grinding. I'm not sure I'm willing to part with $40 for what's offered. Number two, stash. I didn't talk about the stash earlier, but if you purchase the Ultimate Edition, you are granted stash space, which will normally be unlocked via SHD Tech. I'm not crazy about this, since SHD Tech directly ties to upgrades and unlocks, and giving the Ultimate Edition some owners, giving the Ultimate Edition owners some stash gives them an early advantage in SHD Tech. Over time, this will become negligible, but Ubisoft has to be careful as this can lead to worse things in the future. I understand the stash space was way worse before the change to the Ultimate Edition, but this new offering isn't perfect either. Number 3. Apparel caches aren't needed. I don't think Division 2 needs them. The apparel store seems like a more consumer friendly option, and I don't think loot boxes will be popular with the user base. Gamers will buy good cosmetics, it's been proven, so please, please, get rid of the stupid loot boxes. Overall, it's an acceptable plan for the year with some minor gripes. I'm glad Ubisoft is listening to the community in a lot of areas and I hope they continue to improve over time. I'll be playing Division 2 right at launch on my live stream at twitch.tv slash This is Buona from Buona.tv and I'd like to thank all of my patrons for their support and I encourage you all to visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash Also, if you enjoyed my little content here about the Division, click that subscribe button and ring the bell for updates. I'll see you next time.